When many of us speak, we have scripts in front of us, we have notes. But I'm here to tell you that the notes really can be let go. The best speakers know that their speeches are here. They're based on their lives. They're based on experiences. They are simply based on what we know and what we practice. If you're having a conversation with someone, does someone actually have to hold up a cue card saying, say hello and nod your head? Of course not. So why is it that we make the art of impromptu speaking so difficult? Why is it that we struggle and labor? First of all, remember that when you're speaking, no one has your script in front of them. No one knows exactly what you want to say and how you want to say it. You are the artist. Your brain is creating a canvas, is creating a field in which you can operate in. One of the first things that I do when I'm going to practice impromptu speaking is just to get an idea. If I'm going to talk about baseball, I might literally see a baseball field in front of me. If I'm going to talk about astronomy, I might look up toward the stars. If I'm going to talk about history, I might glance backwards. The idea is to create a first impression, to take someone and to lead them by the hand to exactly where you wish to direct them to. Then, after you've gotten their attention, what you want to do is be relaxing, smile, pause, and bring them toward you. If there are common experiences that you can share, remember when we, or have you ever thought that, you want to open those doors. Get that person to see that what you're talking about is about them. In Toastmasters, we have a little phrase, W-I-I-F-M, what's in it for me. And quite often in an impromptu speech, what's in it is a chance to bond is a chance to get to know that speaker and become more comfortable in listening to him, in taking him or her seriously, or in just relaxing with that speaker and becoming one with them. Sort of a Zen type of public speaking, as it were. What I find helpful in such times is to just remember that any speech is my opinion. Any speech that I give is simply my view of things. It's not written in any type of stone commandments. Nobody is lumbering from any type of a Mount Zion with sculpted tablets. It's just a matter of letting go. It's just a matter of telling a story. It's just a matter of making eye contact and bringing the person into your world. This is my world and welcome to it. As I develop the presentation, what I try to do is give some examples. I learned that and explain what I learned. Or I saw that and explain what I noted. Or I heard and discuss the sounds that drew me to the event and what really brought me out. Once you get to the point of an introduction, once you get to the point of a body, you then have to decide how you want the speech to land. How do you want to end it. What impression do you want to, to have them have of you once the presentation is over? That should be just a matter of going back to the beginning, reminding them of what you spoke on, and then telling them, and this is why it's important. This is why I brought this up today. This is what I hope you're going to get out of it. So if you can do all of that, you can have a very effective impromptu presentation, and you can speak without a script because your brain is a great writer, you are a great actor, and your story is more than worth hearing about.